Let's have a listen in. The answer to provide that baseload reliable power. Well, there could be more coal-fired power stations in the future. No. Only, only the LNP at their worst suggested a new coal-fired power station. They had one, Collinsville. And remember what the audit office said about their management of that. Nobody serious would suggest there'll be a new coal-fired power in Australia. But to run through your points, David, um, nobody's suggesting that batteries can take all the load. Batteries have a very important role to play, but nobody's suggesting that batteries will take all the load. That's why we have uh, Snowy 2.0, for example. That's why the Queensland government's pursuing their pumped hydro plans, for example. Um, but a firmed renewable grid, uh, as AEMO has said time and time again, is the cheapest way forward for the country and the lowest emissions. So some people say our plans aren't ambitious enough, 82 per cent renewables. We point out that you, know, you need that firming capacity, that 18 per cent, uh, certainly uh, on the 2030 timeframe. The Liberals are saying we have too many renewables and are too focused on renewables. They say they would have a slower and less forward-leaning renewables plan. They say their answer is nuclear. They think the answer is to put the most expensive form of power available into our grid. When we have no nuclear industry, we have no regulations in place, it would cost even more than it's facing in other countries. And around the world, it's facing cost blowouts and time blowouts, right around the world. Well, you know, it's time for the Liberals to put up or shut up, answer these concerns, or reveal what their alternative is. Charles. Modular nuclear facilities, and whether they could be bought here a big user of power, like aluminium smelter or something like that. Is there a role that all the nuclear play as part of our mix? Not to replace coal, but as part of the mix? Well, let's look at small modular reactors, so called and alleged. There's two in the world operating at the moment one on a barge in Russia and one in China. Neither of them commercial. Um, Mr. O'Brien likes to go overseas and look at nuclear things. I'll tell you one thing he hasn't been to look at. A, look at a commercially operating small modular reactor, because there isn't one. It doesn't exist. I'm sure he'd go if he could, but it doesn't exist. Um, so nuclear is the wrong fit for Australia. It's not a flexible uh, source like gas. You can turn up and down. Uh, nuclear has not been that. It's certainly not cheap, and it's not on the time frame. I mean, 2029 and 2030 are the most optimistic forecasts for small modular reactors in the United States and Canada. Uh, nobody serious, apart from Mr O'Brien, suggests that we could possibly meet that time frame in Australia starting from a standing start. So we're talking you know, late 2030s, early 2040s at best. Are, are they really suggesting we do nothing until then? Seems like they, maybe they are. If there are only two small reactors, how can we make any legitimate assessment of how much it would cost? Well, well we, know, we know the cost of nuclear, though. I mean, the work's been done and it's conservative work. It's conservative work that's been done on the cost of small modular reactors in 2030. Sorry, the opposition is pointing to three times cheaper power in Canada. They also said nuclear power was 60 per cent of Canada. It's 15. I mean, if Mr O'Brien and the Liberals want to use the Canadian example, they can. It's 15 per cent. Energy Canada points out the reason why Canada has cheap power prices by international comparisons is because they have so much renewable hydro. That's the fact. Um, last week, $100 billion proposal from the consortium. Uh, what's your take on that particular proposal? And is $100 billion sort of the ballpark of the report? Leave that there. So Chris Bowen here going into a bit more in-depth, uh, detailed discussions on why he thinks nuclear isn't the solution. Coalition Adam at least should be part of the mix. They haven't got their policy on what they do, the Coalition, but that will be released as we heard from the Shadow Minister earlier.